by gigs. Ooh. Yeah. My name is Izuma Gweze from Uhuru Designs and you're watching Dash Kitar. My name is Izu Madwezi and I'm the founder of Uhuru Designs. To me, African fashion is a form of expression of our roots and our beautiful culture. Um, it's the heritage of the people, home and abroad, and that's pretty much why I'm into it and why I have the passion for it. What differentiates me from the rest? Um, I, I asked this question when I first started, when people were really interested in my designs. And uh, the feedback I got was originality. Uh, this is something that's authentic from the heart and you wouldn't see it anywhere else. All right, everybody. I am, of course, your favorite hostess of Dashiki Diaries, and I'm here with the man himself, uh, Mr. Izu from Uhuru Designs. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you very much. How are you doing? I am doing great. So you have to get, come closer to me. We're, we're not enemies. We are actually friends. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell everybody a little bit about how we kind of met each other. We consider you a friend of Dashiki Diaries, a little brother um, of Dashiki Diaries, because Izu is literally making waves in the fashion industry. Uh, tell us your age first of all uh, I just turned 20 in May so yeah I'm tiny 20 Izu is 20 and Izu already has a whole clothing line called Uhuru designs and if you know actually uh, you've seen us sporting some of his attires uh, actually I think our, there's this photo that we took in your design and it got retweeted by Bella Nijab, Ebony something this 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 a lot of people caught onto it and I really think aside from the fact that I'm gorgeous you know I think it was also <laughs> the fact that it was your design uh, that caught eyes so can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration uh, for coming up with that collection? Uh, the full collection, the whole clothing line was uh, brought up by my frustration. Um, I couldn't find clothes that could fit my style, uh, things I could wear, so I decided to teach myself how to sew. Uh, so I self-taught myself how to sew by watching YouTube videos, taking classes, and um, I started the whole clothing line thingy in um, April of 2016. Um, I started by making custom clothes for people, and then as time went on, people from out of states that are asking for clothes. Absolutely. So um, in July 2016, we officially launched, and we're here right now. So. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So you were frustrated that you couldn't find clothes that fit your style, not, not, not necessarily like your size, but like your style and like your expression. Um, and then you taught yourself how to sew. That's a different level of dedication. I, you know, when we talk about designers, sometimes you have designers that create designs. Um, and then you have, of course, the people, the seamstress or the person that sews it. But you are actually a designer and you sew your own materials as well. Yes. Um, so I, I've been drawing since I was 10. So designing wasn't pretty much a problem for me okay. uh, but like as time went on I wanted to make my own samples because it's pretty expensive to get samples made like choose someone else right. so yeah it's pretty efficient for me to know how to sew. Okay. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your target market when you make these designs who are you looking for these designs to reach who represents best of the Uhura brand? Uh, we're looking for free-minded people ages 18 to 35 um, who aren't afraid to be bold, who aren't afraid to stand out, who want to express themselves. Okay. So, yeah, so yeah. we're looking for kind of like that middle range, you know, you're, you're starting to get to that age point where you want to uh, have a design that reflects you and it's also cute and classy at the same time. And I think that's kind of what you do. Um, let's talk a little bit about your team, because obviously everybody has a team that helps them uh, move a vision. So uh, let's talk about your team. Give them some, some light here. Uh, my team consists of like 12 volunteers who wow. volunteered to join the company um, from the earlier stages till now. Uh, we just added we just added one more photographer um, last week. Um, so they're involved in sales, marketing, um, photography, uh, copywriting, um, business, finance. You know, so it's it's a whole full team of people who. Oh, some names. Some names. Well, there's um, my business partner Gochi. Um, who is heading to medical school. Uh, there's Brian, who heads sales. There's Love, who is um, contact director. There's Alex, who is also um, a freelance copywriter for us. Um, there's Mar, a copywriter. There's Aja, a um, wow. financial <laughs> officer. So it's like... <laughs> Uhuru Designs is not a joke. There's a whole movement behind that brand, whereas it's NK and I. So NK, I think we need to start looking into how to join his team, because <laughs> your team is doing some nice big things. So, so um, yeah, 
we are already a part of yeah. we are already a part of the Uhuru brand. As you can see, we love to represent Uhuru. Um, and you mentioned something when you were talking now, you talked about copyright. Um, and I know that it's, so, you know, imitation, of course, is the best form of flattery. That's my belief. But also, sometimes imitation can take away from the integrity and originality of your brand. So what do you, do you ever fear that there will be people that will take your idea, run with it, and make a little tweak and, you know, maybe import it from China and then all of a sudden, you know, your brand and all your hard work goes? What do you, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, um, you could still find shoes that look like the Nike shoes, but okay. they'll never be Nike. Uh, that's what I believe um, Uhuru would be like if people tried to steal from us. They'll never be Uhuru, so be. no matter how much you tweak it, um, as far as we still have our name on the product, that's it's going to be our original stuff. So that's yeah. That's a very good answer that you just gave, um, that no matter all the tweaking and whatever people do, uh, you know, Uhuru brand is authentic and it will still be Uhuru. Of course, there are many copies of the Nike, like you said, but there's there's only one Nike. Um, so that's a very, very good reference that you just made. So I want to talk to you about uh, the future. A, f a few years from now, let's project. Uh, where is Uhuru Designs going to be by the grace of God? Um, actually, in a few years from now, uh, we're working towards being the one-stop shop for African apparel um, and pretty much everything Ankara. Um, we are working towards that. We're also looking into technological advance advancements. Um, we want to create like an avenue where people could pretty much express themselves through clothing. Um, right now, I can't say much about what we're doing because we just got new investors on board. But like. Moving forward, uh, you're going to see a lot of new developments and I can't wait for you guys to see it. That's, that's absolutely amazing. I'm so excited that I got to sit down uh, with my little brother, Izu. Uh, Alright everybody, it's your girl Ify from Dashiki Diaries. We just ended up an interview with Mr. Izu of Uhuru Designs. How was it? It was great. Thank you very much. It was awesome. We are officially checking out of Orlando. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah. You already know who it is.